People often talk about how you tell the story. The key, the key question is why do you tell the story? Why take that picture? Why choose those those um, characters? Why that situation? And and I think you know for us it, it is, it's finding situations and characters that it, that have a simple story, but they illuminate, they shed a light on something on the reality of the the tensions in society, and on the reality of of what is happening in one simple story. If you choose the right story, you see right to the heart of how the world works. It's also a big, big challenge to try and tell a story with, with, with two communities. You know, it's, I mean, you know, there's, there's complexity in each one. And, um, and it would have been very easy for the, the, the community arriving just to be passive and just told what to do. And so it really, really helped us that, that you know, Yara, you know, she was a photographer, you know, and so by nature and by her work, she's curious, she wants to look out, she wants to try and understand, she wants to kind of figure out what's going on around her in her new world. She did that back home, she did it in the refugee camp, and she did it in her new place. So, you know, just story-wise, you know, it just opened things up for us. It's a continuing theme, really. Um, and it, it all relates to the essential struggle in society, really, between between those who exploit and those who sell their labor. You know, it's irreconcilable conflict. You can only resolve it by changing the way, by changing the way society is organized. And it comes from there. And charity suits a class society because there's an old saying, an English saying, the poor are always with us. Sure, the poor are always with us because somebody's ripping them off. Someone's taking, taking money from them, from their labor. The idea of the festivals like Lacan were really important in that because at a time when, I mean, cinema has always been commercial, but as, as cinema gets, obviously, obviously things never stay the same and, and it becomes more and more simply one or two major Hollywood films every now and then that become the centerpiece of cinema. And it's so important that the festivals like Lacan that say cinema is a is broad and wide, and it has many, uh, many films, many ways of working, many cultures within it. And it's just a medium, but it's very rich, potentially. This is Ken's fifth time being here, but for me, it's, it's, the, it's the first time. And um, I have to say, I've, and having talked to Ken over the years, and Dave Johns, who was an I, Daniel Blake, he was here with his daughter. And the idea that tonight we're going to sit down and watch a film with 8,000 people. I mean, it's really remarkable. I find it very, very touching and, and wonderful. I mean, our local independent cinema in Edinburgh and, our, and not recognising that sitting down together, you know, is, is a remarkable thing, especially now in the world where it's so individualised. People watch on their screens, they watch it on their phones. And the idea that 8,000 people come along and sit down together, I mean, it's, it's, it's actually very, very profound and really worth protecting because, you know, they're actually putting themselves you know, in the framework that we're going to listen to stories from people outside our experience. They're putting themselves in a position when they'll say, I will stand in your shoes for that moment. And then they'll go and talk about it afterwards. I mean, that is absolutely remarkable. And I'm really, just to find it, I'm really looking forward to tonight. I'm very grateful to the festival.